Now with the young climate change activists inspiring and empowering people of all ages around the world. Let's meet Jerome Foster II, a keynote speaker at the COP26 conference. Climate change activists have been rallying for the cause for over five decades. From the early days of protests and Earth Day rallies, the issues facing our warming planet and the interests in solving the climate crisis have only grown. Climate change has got to go. Yet the future of climate activism appears to sit squarely in the hands of the unwavering Gen Z. Enter Jerome Foster II. Many people like myself and my generation started out with that feeling of anxiety and immense feeling of hopelessness. And we said, how do we channel that into real action? Jerome attended his first climate strike in 2019. He led with compassion, holding a sign that read, I speak for that which cannot speak against those who speak unthinkable things. I went down there with my sign, with a suit on, in the pouring rain, trying to make sure that we passed the Climate Change Education Act and also that we ratified the Green New Deal. Also a former intern for the late Congressman John Lewis. That experience showed Jerome there's power in numbers. I think that when it comes to the two levers of power in, in Congress, it's how much money do you have and how much voting power do you have. And as a young person, we don't have a lot of money. We have a lot of votes. This realization igniting a fire in Jerome that eventually led him into the Biden administration's Environmental Justice Advisory Council, where he's making sure every industry and generation puts the calls front and center. Climate change isn't going to be one solution. It's going to be everyone coming together in a way of cross-sectoral, cross-agency discussions, whether it's the aviation sector, whether it's the construction sector, whether it's the education that we give to young people, I think that there isn't really one size fits all solution. And at this year's climate summit, Jerome has a few demands and a message he wants to make clear. World leaders either need to get on the right side of history or you need to step aside because a new generation of climate leaders are on the horizon. It is much cheaper for you to act proactively than to have to reconcile with the damages and the lost lives that are on your hands. And if they listen, they listen. And if they don't, we vote them out. Now, he's just one of the young movers and shakers we're going to be meeting when it comes to climate change all this week here on GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.